Once in the blood, the poison causes the onset of pupil constriction. But he had hoped to pers- per what? Precipitate? Preci precipit- Yeah, that's how you pronounce that. Precipitate the victim's death before that happened. Hadn't he? He wished to rain on her parade. Or piss on her. her. One of the other. Does something involve raining liquids? Exactly. He had a piss cake, your honor. He's actually Mishima in disguise. Aw, oh, man. I knew I shouldn't have gone to feudal Japan to escape my crimes. Because without re any revealing signs of the new secret poison's use, no one would have ever suspected it was urine. What the fuck? Yes. What the fuck indeed. The effects of the poison meant that it would be too easily identified, so the killer had to mask its use. By peeing on her! <laughs> Wait, are you... Are we being serious here? You didn't actually do that, did you? Seriously? Order. That's gross. Order in my court. There will be no discussion of piss cakes in my courtroom. The argument presented is sound. The court is satisfied with this piss cake. Does the prosecution have a counter argument it wishes to put forward? God, there's so, so much wrong with this case. I think I'm done, honestly. I, I think I'm done with... with I, I'm, I think I'm going to open a tea shop. I think I'm going to retire. I, I, <laughs> there, were a no, there are a number of... I mean, yes, I count her completely. Objection. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the prosecution's evasive response clearly shows that in much the same way as he nurtures the remnants of his top knot, he is clinging to lost hope. Last hope! Objection! You're avoiding the subject! Did I even fucking do any anything this trial? I feel like I just wasted everybody's time by being here. <laughs> you pathetic, uh, useless, fallen samurai! Fallen? Who are you calling fallen? I don't need a counter argument. What? What are you talking about? It should be blatantly obvious. I stole the poison, you say. Gave it to the victim, you say. Stabbed her, you say. Lots of fun theories. But I don't need a counter argument, because you don't have an argument yourself. Where's your evidence? The pen, doofus. You make it all sound so plausible, don't you? But without evidence, it means nothing. What has I? I base of my news on facts. I work for the media. Facts? What do you mean? Explain yourself. What are these facts you speak of? I mean, what the professor said early in the trial. It's all here. In my many memos, my many memo, many memos, every word, every slip of the tongue, all noted. This, what the Shoyu News is famous for, is the power of printed word. Surely it would be no easy task to steal the highly secret toxin from being developed for the government. Indeed. All the victors, visitors to the laboratory are thoroughly searched when they leave. Even if a thief managed to avoid being seen by myself or a colleague, the po getting the poison out would be very difficult. He said it himself. How did that then? Blow the story wide open? See, I write in my memo memo. I'm a reporter from the show, you know. I couldn't possibly have stolen a poison from the professor laboratory. Shit, he's right! Wait, the pen! Why is she I forgot about the pen? There can't be any question of it. He must have stolen the poison that day. He stole it and used it to kill. But my question is not how he got it out, because we know. The question is how how the fuck did Brett end up with it in her hands? Like, you'd think that he would keep a hold of that. Mm-hmm. And if that's the case. 
Or I guess he kind of like, thought it's, it was all used, so uh, there's nothing else in there. How the fuck do I get up there? You walk. You see that mountain? You can climb that. No, I can't, With the game. power of Skyrim. I don't have a horse. With the power of Skyrim. As you've identified, the poison itself is the definitive evidence we need. Because whoever stole it from the laboratory that day is the true culprit here. What's your point, you annoyingly handsome country bumpkin? God, I want to make out with you. Uh, unusual sentiments aside, my point is this. There's only one way that you, Menememo-san, could have stolen the poison that day. Please, I'm stupid. Tell me. I've heard enough... Verbal conjecture now, thank you. What the court must be shown is evidence. What proof do you have? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Just fucking throws the pen across the courtroom. Blah! Ah! How dare you throw a pen in my face? This is a court of law and I will not be dis... This... What? How the fuck is this even relevant? These magical pens somehow seem to have enough ink to write many thousands of kanji characters. I believe they arrived in our country for the first time some 15 years ago now. Bah! I swear by a weasel hair, calligraphy blush, and nothing else! These newfangled pens are merely a fad! They'll go out of style eventually! Well, as a forward thinking man of words, obviously I love my fountain pen. St suck up a soup. What? Soup con? What? Soup con? Soup con with a little diddle on, on, underneath the sea? Oh my god. S S sink. And one's work is a wash with words in the blink of an eye. That's correct. Whatever you said. Fountain pans have a small reservoir in the barrel into which ink is sucked up through the nib of the pen in order to write with later. And what does all this talk of sucking up have? Uh, ah. And just as it's possible to suck ink up into the reservoir, it's also possible to eject it through the nib again, of course. My word, can, can this really be? Well, Minimemo-san, I swear by the pencil! I die by the pencil! When you saw the deadly poison before your eyes in the laboratory that day, you thought, ooh, yummy, yummy, get me, let me get some sip. You used your fountain pen, your very lifeblood, to steal some of it, didn't you? Okay, I admit it. I took the fountain pen and I sucked up the poison. Is what I would say if you didn't have an argument. I need you to explain where the fuck I put my ink. <laughs> if people would have seen that, I splattered it all over the ground. Well, you see, if we turn to the court record, we can clearly see it in the crime scene photo. It's smeared all against the wall. No, actually, it's smeared all on the ground. You went to the beach first. Unloaded your pen in the sand, then went to the laboratory, sucked up the poison, then went back to the beach to poison the victim. How did you figure it out? By siphoning the poison up through the nib and into the pen's reservoir. Go! More absurdity! That never happened! True, we've heard that there were procedures in place to prevent thefts like this from the, from the laboratory. But would anyone have thought to look inside a fountain pen of all places? No, I'm a little ashamed to say that for fear of offending our guests, such a detailed search would not have been conducted. Well, this is quite startling, I must say. I remind the court that this pen was found in the clutches of the victim when she died. I don't know how. In other words, it was dropped at the scene by Men and Mamosan. 
quite a stupid mistake if you really think about it. So the crucial question is, when exactly was the pen dropped? Are you suggesting? The natural conclusion is that in your haste to act whilst the victim was distracted for a moment, you dropped the pen after you emptied the poison from it into her glass. Into her glass! You're saying he dropped her pen! He dropped his pen into the wine glass, and she drank it! Huh? Am I the only sane person here? Like, seriously, isn't it way more likely that the fucking defendant did it? With a poison knife? Like... Except we found no poison on the knife. If... Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Am I the only sane person here for what? The, vi the witness could have been using this pen to write down details of this conversation with the victim. And when shocked by one of her outrageous answers, the pen fell from his quivering hand! No, you numbskull. That can't be. If it was, how do you explain why the pen was devoid of ink? He... he ran out? As you can see for yourself if you examine the evidence, there would appear to be no ink present in the reservoir. What newspaper reporter goes to interview someone with nothing in his pen. It was a long and detailed interview! And as you know, pens are biodegradable, so you can just fucking toss them on the ground when you're done using them. Yeah, that makes sense. No, the pen was dropped after the poison had filled its, that filled its reservoir had been emptied into the victim's glass. <laughs> Witness, what? Do you have to say in your defense? Wahaha! <laughs> so this is how the modern justice system works, is it? So what if the ink in my pen run dry? What if my pencil snaps? What if I snap and kill everybody in this courtroom? I can always claw my ba way back into the game. I have a plot in reserve. Ha! <laughs> He's stabbing everybody. You claim I sucked the poison up into my pen. That's wild speculation, oh, nothing more. God, I am blind. There were stairs the whole time. There were stairs the whole time. <laughs> And the stairs are what they used to stab the victim! I think, if you thought you could bring down a fine, upstanding citizen with a trick like that, think again! Hmm, it looks as though it's going to take one final decisive blow to finish this matter. As I see it, the situation is now very simple. It rests upon whether or not this witness did indeed steal the poison on that day in question. And therefore, it all depends on whether or not the defense can prove he did with evidence. Dude, I, this is so easy. Objection. Yeah, I have the evidence. I've had it for a while. Many memo son. This is how our modern justice system works. You know, when you ki when someone else kills someone, <laughs> when when an English woman kills an Englishman, she gets off scot free. But when you kill an English woman, that's when you get pronounced guilty. That's how our modern justice system works. He's precisely the woman that killed her in the first place! Are you fucking serious?! What? In the courtroom, evidence is everything. Something you would do well to remember. Because we are well past the point of speculation at this stage, I assure you. Dang it! I thought I could do, get away with murdering someone that got away with murder! How did this fit blow up in my face? <laughs> this will be the final piece in the puzzle. It's actually really sad, honestly. Like, as stupid as he is, he kind of had a point for, by doing all this. Because it just kind of proves how stupid the, la the, the case from the first game is. And how easy she got away with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't even read the question. 
I really hope that that was the, <laughs> the correct option. It's a bottle of delicious vinegar! Drinky drinky, Judge! This bottle contains the unique chemical reagent that can identify the poison in question. We just have to suck it up into the nib of the pen. Yes, that poison is an entirely new synthesis of alkaloids developed by my colleagues and I. It would be impossible to detect traces of it by any other method. Or, from another perspective, simply with this chemical reagent, anybody at all could check for traces of the poison. A, a reagent? What? One drop of this, of the contents of this bottle, on the tip of your fountain pen, Menemamo-san. And it is all, is all it will take to solve this case beyond all reasonable doubt. Are we gonna let him take the pen and drop it? <laughs> no! Yeah, he's just gonna drop it and it shatters. See, I destroyed the evidence. Guess you can't accuse me of murder. Well, that makes sense to me. Obviously, by destroying evidence, that means that Ray is guilty. What? Are you serious? Your crimes are bad enough, but at least know when to admit defeat. Your Excellency, the defense requests permission to carry out the test on the fountain pen at once. <laughs> Here! Oh my god, he's gonna bludgeon the fucking courtroom to death with this camera! With me! Susato Takedown! Dual Cropping! Yeah! Did he do it, Ray? That was a Susato takedown, wasn't it? Not quite. That was a Ryotaro takedown. It's when you cross-dress. The instant the first drop of the reagent touched the nib of the fountain pen, it was clear to everyone present. Holy shit, this pen is poisonous! When I saw it there in the lab, the poison for Cusco, I just, the devil got a hold of me and decided to do it on a whim. I excused myself and emptied all the ink down the sink in the bathroom, washing the reservoir out completely. And then he waited for an opportunity to suck up some of the poison, didn't he? Into your fountain pen. See, si, that's a correct. Answer me one thing, Menemamo-san. Why did you steal it? For what purpose? For murder. To find out what it was made of and expose it in an article. I mean, it was a secret project after all. Too juicy for a porno, I mean, journal like me to pass up. And why did the English woman end up dead? I forgot about the poison and I wanted to stick ink in a drink as a prank. I was gonna use the hashtag pranked, bro. I wanted to do the dirt and tell the quiz around the situation, that's all. As a reporter, you know, man to man, man to woman, woman to man, woman to woman. A non killer, enjoying full freedom, evading justice by leaving the country. I told her what I thought about it. And she, she just laughed in my face. She laughed in my mini memo, mini, mini memo face. Oh, what's this? A Far Eastern caveman proposing to practice journalism. Really, you must learn the difference between reporting and listening at doorways, you ignorant plebeian. What the? What did you just call me? This country, with its pretensions to a justice system, to a free press, it's really very depressing. You see our superior ways in the West, yet you lack the mental capacity to emulate them. Get out of here, you oaf. Get out and crawl back into the cave you came from. That's really fucking racist! That's yeah. 
point where I remembered I had a way to murder someone and I decided, eh, what the fuck not? Holy shit, dude, you can't just do that. You can't just murder people. That's, that's illegal. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Can someone tell me if that's illegal? You're a judge! You should know! Alright, shut the fuck up. We are not here to judge. Well, I am. Uh, well, I am, I guess. <laughs> God damn it. The jokes write themselves, guys! In my head, I knew I should just get out of there as quickly as possible. But I decided, mm, what's one less racist in the world? <laughs> if you kill a racist, the amount of racists in the world stays the same. Or is that murderers? I can't remember. I couldn't let her get away with what she'd done, when she clearly had no remorse at all. <sighs> I suppose it was my journal spirit getting all fired up. I'd like to ask you something. Yes? Do you really think I'm cute? You think I'm handsome? Ooh, woo. <laughs> you often talk about justice. But surely as a journalist, you could have used other means to deliver the justice you sought. No, there's no justice in the press. Sorry? After that trial my, nine months ago, I kept digging, digging, to find out what happened in that courtroom. And finally, I discovered the truth. <sighs> it was a cover-up, that's what it was. Uh, a cover-up? What do you mean? Shut up. No. Stop talking. Oh, come on! Doesn't it strike you strange? I'm already a dead man. We're, uh, we're certainly not allowed to convict a foreign national. Consulate jurisdiction should never come into it. And speaking of coming into her, that popped up the English one was gonna sail away into the sunset as a free woman. The only possible explanation is that behind the scenes some deal had gone down between Britain and Japan. What sort of deal? I'd done my research, dug up all the dirt, it was all ready to be published. But you know what happened? The editor just tore the article up! It came under pressure from the government, you mean? If our government is gonna let criminals walk free, if they're gonna crush the free press, what kind of fucking First Amendment rights do we even have anymore? Let's not forget Mena momo -san. You committed a murder! And you tried to let the, lay the blame on the defendant's door. I'm sorry, but you're no better than the Jezebel Brett. What? The truth is, you have no right to talk about justice at all. Ah, uh, shit, you right. <sighs> I suppose. I'll just run away, instead of accepting my fate like a man. Whee! Someone catch him, please. <laughs> eh, I am trying to catch him, Your Excellency, but he covered himself in grease. He keeps slipping through my grasp. And he took off his clothes. He took off all his clothes. <laughs> You're never gonna catch me. <laughs> well, anyway, that doesn't matter. Well, it appear we have reached a conclusion to this trial of that last. We Counsel for the defense, Ryotaro Naruto. God, you have such kissable, succulent lips. Shit, did I say that out loud? Oh, that's me! Yes, ahem. <laughs> Sorry, Your Excellency. Just musing in a manly way there. That's really hard to believe. But, uh, unbelievable as this is your first experience of the Supreme Court. What is he? It was an excellent performance. Oh, there he is. I'm, I'm still here, Council. I've never left. 
In truth, it very much reminded me of your cousin's exploits. Oh, Naruto, uh, Ryonosuke, you mean? That's correct. The way he handled the trial nine months ago, and the way you handled this one, gives me chills. I have to remember this one for later tonight. Gives me hope that we were genu we are genuinely entering a new era of justice in this land. Arigato gozaimasu, Your Excellency. What kind of language did you just try to speak to me? Anyway, hearing the fence you put forward today made me feel most keenly, most judgely, that the future of our justice system will be forged by you and your contemporaries, the new generations. So, Prosecutor Aoichi, do you have any final thoughts? Look what I got here! I, got, I found a birdhouse, guys! What the... what? I... Takatushi of the Oichi clan have been bested by a callow youth not once now, but twice. If there was any shred of my former self left, it has withered and died here today. Gosh, your journey to cultural enlightenment sure took a while, didn't it? Sirs! I kill you! Oh no! Oh no! Rather than living on in shame, I will end it all now with this blade. That is the true path to Oichi-ism! Oichi-ism? One hopes it's the only way in which he'll be modeling himself after the witness. I... I'm kind of afraid. Do it, you coward. Duh! Don't encourage him! Spring of my top knot! The time is right for farewell! Hope is lost! Don't do that. <laughs> We're all praying for the loss of his top knot. Oh! <laughs> one day, one day I will have descendants that feed into the legal system and they will be just as fucking incompetent as me. This, I swear to you, Takatushi Aoichi. Alright, no. Shut, shut the fuck up. It's not your time anymore. <laughs>